Hello, my name is Bruce, and today I want to talk about a song that has been really been dear to me all my life. And today is May the 8th, which is Mother's Day, and this is the perfect day to talk about it. This song is called Dear Mama by Tupac. This song was released on February 9th. On February 21, 1995, as the lead single from the album, this song was a tribute to his mother, a Phoenix Shakur. This song became his first top 10 on the Billboard Hot 100, peaking at number nine. It also topped the Hot Rap Singles chart for nine for five weeks. In the song, he details his childhood poverty and his mother's addiction to crack cocaine but argues that his love and deep respect for his mother supersede bad memories. He was kicked out by Afini at age 17, and they had little contact for many years. Having Kornoko lost all respect for his mother, he subsequently moved into a fake apartment with his friends and began writing poetry and rap lyrics. In 1990, realizing her habit was out of control, she enrolled in a 2012-step program, excuse me, at a drug and alcohol treatment center in Norwalk, Connecticut. After completion, she reconciled with her son, who was at this point a successful recording artist. The audience is for everyone around the world. He wants them to know about his mom. Also, the, er the secondary audience can be his mother, but he's telling her that he could see her struggling and he will always love her and honor her no matter what it is. The purpose in this song is to show pre appreciation to all mothers' hard work to children. You just in the lyric, you were just working straps you was given, and Mama made miracles. And everything's given, but now the road got rough. You're alone. You were trying to raise two bad kids on your own, and there's no way I can pay you back. But my plan is to show you that I understand. You are appreciated. This song, this lyric kind of relates to everybody even myself included because my mom well every mother in and in, in every child's life including mine they all had they all made sacrifices along the road and that's that is like one of the things that that I can appreciate with my mother and I really love her for it and I really love, you know, for the things, you know, she did for me so far. So, yeah. Thank you, Mom. The mood in the song and the way I feel it is that it had a sense of empathy in it. And as well as the instrument of the song. But how I really feel about the song is that I remember the memories of my mother when I listened to it. The metaphor for the song, for example, even as a quack fiend, Mama. You were always was a black queen, mama. Tupac is saying that even though his mom was a crack addict, she was always there for him and still looks up for, to her. This this lyric right here is the one that I really love because in the lyric, "Lady, don't you know we love you?" This was an understatement for every parent to know that their children loves them, which. I understand which I really relate to because everything on my mind I always you know will always and forever will love my mom until the day I die the irony is I love paying rent when the rents do this is very ironic because many most people excuse me don't like to pay rent but since he is making money paying rent feels nice or since that he has accomplished something in his life alone. The other characters in the song were the thugs that Tupac hanged out with. In the lyric, I hung around with the thugs e even though they sold drugs to show young brother love. Which, even though he kn he was aware, aware of the thugs, how they did bad things like robbery, stealing, and sold drugs, they still, you know, show him, you know, a little bit of love to him and appreciation for him. And last but not least, the lesson for this song is that is to, well, myself, is that it's always to appreciate your family and the things they do because it's hard to be strong and do stuff when it feels like you're all alone. And this lyric right here is the one that really hit me most, and that is. 
you are appreciated. And there are a bunch of other a lot of lyrics that I really like. And the lyric that really hit me the most was Wherefore for a mother, tell me how you did it. This lyric was the one I think about. The lyric was the lyric is is tell me how you did it was was really good and yeah um it was uh, I feel a little bit you know empty you know since you know I work hard and I'm trying to you know find a way to you know to you know find a way to cope you know my feelings my wants and needs and ever since my mom was there for me every day she will always, you know, calm me down when I always feel stressed out. And she will take me to, you know, places where I want to be. And it's kind of hard because, you know, she, she, even though she's not here with me today, I will always remember her from your heart. Thank you, Mom, for the things you have done for me. And <sighs> thank you for everything you've done for me. And I've, I, if I ever, you know, see my mom ever again, I will always, you know, want to, you know, go somewhere where we can have, you know, have some place where we can eat, have fun, laugh, talk about places, and talk about how good life used to be. So, yeah. Gracias, mama. This is Jesus de la Cruz signing off. And the song how this song was a part of my life is that I appreciate the little things my mother gave me on life. And I feel like there's really nothing I can say, but one thing I want one thing is that I miss her a lot, and even though this will uh, will never happen, and I won't, and I, I might see her. She's not dead or anything. It's just she's just doing. She's just she's you know in another country. You know we're separated, and I pray every day that she will be safe, and we still talk to each other and. I feel like in life, I hope one day we'll reunite where we talk about how good life used to be. So, I will say this again. Gracias, mama, for everything you have done for me. Thanks for listening.